Okay, it's been on black, folks, and basically this is September 24th, and we got the 23rd feed. Now, this is when the sun uh, came up on the 23rd. Okay. Uh, because I've went and recorded this one. I guess if I record 24 or look at 24, we should be able to see image. But right now, I'm showing you the 23rd image. I played this one. And you got the signature there. I'm going to show you this here, and then I'll go to full screen. And you get that signature, and now I'm starting to it's really starting to wonder if somebody could pull some kind of a scam. Oh, now I'm PO'd. Why did that go happen? i got to freeze it. Here's the super giants coming up, and the remnants showing up in the daytime. Okay, so there it comes. And basically, there it is down there, that signature. What if someone was pulling some kind of a scam and had some kind of lens up there that it makes some kind of picture when the sun comes up and freaks everybody out. We all know that they're playing around in space. So I'm going to have it here where it's going to be basically you're going to get the super giants coming up and then you know the sun is smaller than all the stars together at one time. I've showed you that before. And you'll get that signature and I'll pause this again. And we do end up with a... Uh, with a now that should be Jupiter, I believe. Either that or it could be Venus, but I'm, I'm not really we're too worried about that right now. Here's the sun and the super giants coming up. Super giants, super giants, super giants. Okay, and there's the remnants in the daytime, the dark spots up there. Okay, and there it comes in. And I got you full so you can see that, and then we'll go to full screen in a second. Now that signature of that lens, because it's so distinct, it looks like a picture of something, okay? It's starting not to look like a planet. It's starting to look like some kind of hoax that somebody could be building or working on, trying to screw some, you know, make some kind of a screwy bullshit happen, you know, freak people out. Because I don't know, it's sure starting to look just like a uh, hologram. It's starting to look like something man-made or, or something goofier than hell. So anyhow, you got that there. And then we will go ahead and hit, uh, I'll come up here and you get, there's the full on the top. Now you will end up with a little bit up on top too again. It'll have that trace. Oh, I thought I had it. Now here we go. There it is. Just at the end. And then like, that's what it's goofy is it like it blinked out for a second. They're hiding something on the video. They're winking the video at the end. They're showing the sun come up and it's, but it, or is, are you telling me that actually the sun is winking? You see what I'm saying? So we got We need to figure out whether, and then you get all this up here, okay? This big old signature of all this stuff up here again now, okay? So it's pretty wild looking. And is this some kind of hologram, holorifical thing that somebody's been working on? Some country, big money powers together, trying to freak people out. So it's pretty freaky looking, okay? Right there, you can see that. And you did see the signature that we had down here, and you see all this other different signature we have there for a while now too. So we definitely have got something really wild going on here. Now there's the sun and the super giants, and then you got all the, and it is pretty much it's it basically the sun is winking over there in the morning, and I'm wondering if this would match up with that footage that I had. I'm trying to remember the date that I had on that. No, because that was earlier, of when the sun once something got in front of the sun. Okay, so there's the sun coming up. And then you can see all the remnants. You're going to be able to see them because it's daytime. Remember at that high altitude, it's like 13,700 something feet or something like that. Okay. Now I screwed up. Wasn't paying attention to what I'm wanting to freeze. All right. So there we go. You got that bottom signature of that stuff there. Let's blow this up to full screen so you see what we're talking about. Now I'm not sure if the play thing, it used to disappear, I thought, but it's staying on there now below. It used to be when you put your cursor up over this way that it would disappear. The bar would disappear because you can't move the bar around. And then I got to want to get paused there real fast. I screwed up again because I got it on full screen. There it comes the remnants in. And those are basically up in, up in between us and the sun. There the sun comes in. Then you get that kind of a signature there. And then you're going to get that crazy signature on the bottom that gets kind of covered up by the play bar here and then you get that wild signature there which I can't move up to and I was better on a smaller screen showing you there a second ago okay so that's what we're getting and then basically let's go back to this again and you're gonna see if I can freeze that wink because basically there's something
Okay, so let's see if we get... Uh, I did, couldn't get that wink to happen now, but you can see it when it's playing. Let's see if you see this winking. I'm just going real time. I mean, with however speed that they had it at. You see how it winked there? Like twice. So it's interesting if you can get it to... And I'll see if I can do it on the small screen. I'll play around a little bit and see if I can get... See? We're blacked out for a second. Now, is that man-made being happening? And you know they cut it short, too. They don't stay on the sun very long when it's there. Okay, it went out, and then it, like, it winked again right there, too. Okay, so let me go down to the 144 mark again down here, and let's go there. And you got that signature there. That's why I say you, got it, you can see all that wild stuff there. So here we go. And we'll see if we can catch the winks again. And like I say, I know it could be man, possibly man happening because it just goes to black. So you got to watch the counter. You got to watch the clock. You're going to have to try to freeze my video and see if you can see the clock is still ticking. And if the clock's still ticking, then that means something's making the sun wink in the morning. That means something's getting in front of the sun. See right there? Okay, that's six. So the clock's there. And it's, what is it, 6, 10, 52? 6, 14, 52. So, and there it did it again. So you have to see if you can slow it down on my video and see if you can see that other blink just before 621.04. Okay? And then you get this crazy signature there. And I can blow that up too in the small screen a little bit to so give you a little bit more because we've not we've been seeing it before, but it's looking a little di bit different sometimes. I don't know. And then I can go to, I gotta, I'll got i go to 150. And there you go. You can see that signature on the bottom. Okay? And there's what you got on the top. And there's the remnants. And like I say, it's like, is there something under construction here? Some kind of a sign that someone's trying to make or something like that. When I'm talking human from here on the ground, big money, something, power, control, country, what the hell is going on? Okay. Or is it just a natural from, okay. Now I've got some stuff from Nehemiah I want to fit in here too. So let me go ahead and, and get this cued. Now here's a little bit different look. You get this here. You get what that looks like there. And we're up there and there you got that. And I'm pretty sure that's what I was showing you a few minutes ago. So that's pretty interesting stuff there. Let's blow that up a little bit and get a look at that. Because that's something is in front of the sun doing that. Something is getting that, doing that. There you go. It's doing this here. We'll blow that up and look at it. That is not chemtrails, folks. You know that by looking at that. You've seen enough chemtrails. It's not that. And by the way, I was in a, not the top border state, but I was in the south one. And I'm telling you what, they were chemtrailing like crazy on Sunday. Okay, and this ain't chemtrail. This is something that's getting holographically, and there you get a good look at a flipping look. There is, it just went away. So you're going to have to freeze and take a look at that. Uh, I'll probably play the 24th, see what we got there. Let me go to Nehemiah. One thing I found interesting at Nehemiah, if you watch here on the antenna up there, watch this. There's a rainbow or light propagation right there on the antenna pretty dramatic okay and also there's something that's coming over that's shadowing you see that there there's something that's shadowing and it's not something that's built there you see that it's part of this here light propagation here and I can go back as you see that light there as I go back a little bit so there's a sun or something making a reflection like that down there and also making a shadow you see that shadow it gets Kind of like some kind of keyhole or something like that. Remember on the bottom of the earth down there, it's in, it's in Antarctica. You see that shadow? That's not no flipping what they've always tried to get everybody brainwashed about this damn dome or tower. That we pretty much don't come up with seeing anything. Because they got this dome up here, god damn it. So anyway. You can watch my videos. Go watch all my old Nehemiah videos. I'm just going to back this up again so that you can see that. That, sh that big shadow down here. You see this big shadow here? Down on the bottom? 
and it's part of this light propagation right there. So some kind of keyhole light or something like that. I think it's basically a secret that only maybe people can pay a lot of money to go down there and see it. I mean, because it's not cheap to go down there and hang out and stay warm and not freeze to death. So, and it kind of looks like what we've seen on, think I on Pink Floyd's album or something like that. It's very unusual. It's like a big colored bar going through the sky. Okay, because that's not a rainbow. Either that or there's some kind of freaky thing about rainbows in, in uh, Antarctica that we're going to end up seeing a movie about. And you're kind of seeing it about right now because Bino's showing you it. Okay, so there's kind of a pinky strip here, and it could be some sort of auroral. I'm not going to say that it, it's not something kind of an auroral action because we know that there's all kinds of auroral action going down there. Okay, so you got that shadow and that light propagation up here this like that and you can see it as it goes across the antenna so i'll hit start and there's really not much else going on down there just that and or we'll go there and watch the videos maybe you come up and see something now uh i went down to the other antenna here and i think i can start this one get this movie to play and that i think that is uh rigel there and or pateglius and uh then you got the super giants coming up and there you got that. So we caught that now. Let's check that out. So I'm going to have to do a research on time and get that because we see that. And I can blow that up. And there you go. We got that there. And we got 630 UTC. So that's the sun coming up. But what the hell is that? Okay. So let's blow that up right now as I'm deal so you realize that I'm blowing it up for you. And there you go. So that might be the blue... Conchina, right there. Is that what's giving us all that color? And see these tentacles that are on here? I wonder if I can custom and go higher. And I'm wondering, it looks like some gigantic, almost like a jellyfish or something in the sky. But is that going to match up to what we're seeing when we're seeing on the Hawaii footage then? Okay, on my new computer, I do have a lot of... Uh, so basically, you got that there. Let's blow that up some more. I'm zooming in on it. So I got some real good zoom, and there it is, folks. That's zoomed in at like 1,400 or something like that. Let's see if I can go more. Okay, I fit, but I can only zoom a thousand. So let me go over here and I'll knock it down so you know that that's the picture I'm showing you right there. There's the 200 and there it is right there. And I'll go back up to like 400 or something so you can see it. There you go. There it is. So we got a dwarf. And it's basically out in front of the sun in the super giants. And let's watch the sun come up. Let's hit start. Oh, wow. Now, is it a hologram or is it basically an actual planet? It's hard to tell. I'm going to back up. I got one more better shot. I can. It's going to look a little bit better right there. We'll zoom that in. Okay, you're going to see where that, I'm at, and I'm going to zoom in some more. I'm at 400. Well, I really think we got it, and it's a red and a blue because it changes color. So I'm going to see if this is Bataglius. I'm going to zoom this frame. I'm going to blow it up at the 650 time. Oh, sorry. Here, we're back at 650. Let's zoom it. Zoom. We'll go to 400, and I think you'll be able to see it pretty good. We'll scoot over. Up. There you go. Now, we'll zoom that to 1,000. And there it is at 1,000, blown up, folks, and it's it's reddish. Okay? And then I'll f I go this way a little bit. There's the windmill. Okay? So there it is right there. That's at 1,000. Here's at 640, and I'll do another video to make sure what, what planet it was, whether it is actually the dwarf or if it's a planet, because we got the time. Let's we'll blow 640 up. There's 640 blown up. There's it blown up at 640, and I'll see if I got uh, the antenna down here. I mean, that windmill. Yep, there's a windmill right there. Okay, and there's Nearmeyer. Here's 620 blown up at 400%, and there it is right there. You can barely see it. Here'll be 630. We'll zoom it to 400. There you go. There it is to the left. Can't miss it. Here's 630 blown up at 600%. Uh, We're at the windmill right there. Can't miss it. Can't miss it. Watch the next video. There's blown up at 600.